Hey everybody, Max Rich here, and that's the beginning to Raspberry Beret by Prince. This is one of my all-time, maybe my favorite Prince song. Um, it's just got such a super catchy melody and a really cool uh, guitar, well, several really cool guitar parts, um, that being one of them. And the thing with this song is like, as far as the guitar parts are concerned, what I'm going to talk about today is a, like a perfect case study in how to play double stops and how to use melody uh, in sort of a contrapuntal way. And what contrapuntal means, con counterpoint, um, is where you have sort of two melodies that harmonize with each other simultaneously. You hear this a lot like uh, in certain rock bands, Metallica, Iron Maiden, they do this where one guitar player will play something, play a lick, and then another, and the other guitar player will play the same lick, but like a fifth lower or a minor third lower or something like this, and the two licks will kind of combine to create this harmony sound. Um, that's basically uh, what double stops do when you play double stops in melody. And that's basically what's happening here. Um, and it happens throughout the entire song, which is a really cool and unique thing. It's not so much chord strumming and single note riffs and stuff. This is much more um, uh, melody based than it is sort of like riff based or chord based. Um, and that's what makes the song really, really interesting. And the cool thing is, is that the vocal melody comes directly across when you play the guitar part as well. So you're playing sort of like two melodies at once that mimic the vocal melody and uh, sort of give you the overall feel of the song without a ton of like, you know, low notes, bass chord, you know, bass notes and uh, chords and things like this. It's much more like um, upper note, higher up on the neck type of type of guitar playing. Uh, so we'll cover that. We'll cover all the guitar parts. So by the end, you'll be able to play along with the album without a problem. So Raspberry Beret coming up right now. All right, everybody. So we're going to start at the top of the song and uh, and basically the song begins with the guitar riff uh, that is part of the chorus. Well, kind of part of the chorus. Um, but anyway, what I'll do is I'll play the introduction riff and then I'll break it down and show you what I'm doing. And this is all for those of you that are paying attention here, it's all finger style. I'm not using a pick, so you don't need a pick for this, although you can use one if you want. I won't be using one, so in case you're wondering, that's what's going on. Uh, so here is the intro. So that was the same lick played twice. And basically what we're doing, we're in the key of A, and uh, we're playing um, we're playing a, a an A double stop, double stops being two notes played at the same time. So you know any two notes played at the same time is basically a double stop. Most often they're on adjacent strings or skipping one string, but you can have a double stop that are, you know the sixth string and the first string, it doesn't matter. All a double stop means is two notes played at the same time, a triple stop would be three notes played at the same time. Um, so this is all basically double stops, or almost all double stops, and we're starting on an A, um, middle finger on 10th fret B string, and then ninth fret uh, first string with our first finger. And we play those together. And we played it twice. And then after the second one, we take our pinky, and I'm using my pinky to bar the 12th fret, G and B strings. So I'm playing 12 on the G, 12 on the B. And that's a double stop there. You could also play with your ring finger and pinky those two notes. I just happen to do it with a bar with my pinky. Like that, or same thing, really. Um, and then after that, we go to the A chord, the A double stop, and then back to this double stop, which is a G chord. So A, A, G, A, G. And then after that, we play F sharp and D, which mimic a D chord. And this D chord, uh, this D chord, we're playing middle finger, on the 11th fret G string, first finger on 10th fret high E string. So, and when I play that with my right hand, 
because I'm you not on adjacent strings anymore, there's a string in between, I'm on the G string and the E string, I use my thumb and my middle finger. But you can use your thumb and your first finger, you can use any combination of your right hand fingers that you feel is comfortable. So, and then after this D double stop, I put my pinky on the 12th fret high E, down to the 9th fret high E, and then I play 11 and 12 on the G and B strings. 11 on the G, 12 on the B. Like that. So that's... Like that. And then... And then I play the, the A double stop, but not as a double stop, as individual notes. Like that. So... like that, 9, 10, to finish it off. So, and that's the first half of the lick. The second half of the lick is way easier. The second half of the lick is just, we're basically bouncing back and forth in eighth notes um, from the 11th and the 10th, which mimic a D chord. Um, the double stop, 11 on the G, 10 on the B, and then with pinky and ring finger, um, the G double stop on the 12th fret, same two strings. So, 1 and 2 and 3, and then, and 4 and, and that is and 4, two G double stops together. So the for the first... What is that? Five eighth notes? One and two and three. You're just bouncing back and forth. D, D, G, D, G, D. And then you go G, G, D. So. Like that. And then. We finish with G, D, G, A. Like that. So there's one spot in there where we stop altering and we play two G double stops back to back. There we go. So the whole thing... Sounds like that. And there we go. That's the intro. So that gives way to the verse, which mimics the same idea, but we're all the way down now in second position down here. And so this is what the verse sounds like. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's basically the same lick played three times, and then the fourth time you play it, it has a slightly different ending. But the lick, we start on a double stop, an A double stop again, but this time A and C sharp here. Uh, that's uh, G and B strings on the second fret. And um, we're kind of mimicking the same thing that we did before, um, but with some slight differences. So. So two to A double stop, and then we keep that there, we put our ring finger on the D string 4th fret and play that plus the G string 2nd fret. And then we slide our ring finger up to the 5th fret, put our middle finger down on 3rd uh, fret, or 4th fret G string, and play that double stop. 
something like that. And then we play just an A note, uh, G string, second fret, before playing a D double stop. D with our middle finger, uh, B string, third fret, F sharp, uh, D string, fourth fret. So. And then after that D double stop, we play E on the uh, fifth fret second string, and then second fret second string, and then fourth fret on the D and G strings together. Double stop. So that's. play just like in the intro where we kind of play that A double stop isolated one note at a time, that's what we do here. So that initial A double stop that we started with, we play that but broken up one note at a time. So. And then we do. So that's. Go to this G double stop here, five and four on the D and G strings, and this D double stop F sharp and A, um, uh, four and two on the same strings. So we basically go from here down to here. So that's two and three and four, and then. So on the next bar, um, we do the same thing, bounce back and forth, and finish with the A double stop. So that's... you play it, instead of going to this G and D double stop, instead of doing that, bouncing back and forth, in place of that, we just hit an open G and B string and let it ring for four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the second bar of that ending, we just bounce back and forth quarter notes between the A double stop and that G open, G and B open. That's the only difference. So in place of in place of that we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the whole thing. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then it goes to the chorus. Um, and the chorus, uh, the chorus is pretty cool. Um, Basically, the chorus is pretty much the same thing as the intro with some slightly different endings. So um, I'm not going to go through the whole, repeating the whole intro. I will teach you the endings though, but I'll play the chorus first. So this is the chorus. Oh, sorry. So that's the chorus. 
Um, the first ending is exactly like the intro. So you play the intro basically one time through. And then the second time you repeat it, you go up to there and then there's a new ending. And that's the new ending. The new ending is... And that ending is a G double stop, 12th fret, uh, G and B strings, four times. And then, if you're playing with your uh, pinky and ring finger, you drop your ring finger down a half step, put your mi uh, middle finger on 10th fret B string, play that, and then leave your middle finger there, take off your ring finger, and add your first finger for the A double stop. So that's... And that's the second ending. So... And then it repeats again. And then here, this ending, in the same place, um, basically we drop down to an E chord, like that, um, 9, 9, 7. This is a triple stop, so three notes at the same time. And then we play that on the top three strings, and then we play 9, 7 on the top string, drop down to the fifth fret, and play open B and uh, that 5th fret E string. So that's... And then we play those that double stop, that B and that A together. And right away after that, we play 6th fret um, on the G string. Twice and then open B, and then that 6th fret again. So that's... So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, and 2, and 3. And that's the chorus. So once again, the whole chorus. And that's basically, that's pretty much every part of the song except for the bridge. Now the bridge is a bit, uh, a bit more involved. It uses a couple different things, still double stops, um, but this uses some triple stops as well. Um, so basically I'll play the bridge and then I'll break it down and show you what's happening. So this is the bridge. that E chord, but we'll, we'll kind of break this down step by step. So there's a few different sections. So what's happening, that's how the bridge starts. So we're starting with a D triple stop, meaning that we're playing F sharp, A, D, uh, 4, 2, 3 on the D, G, and B strings. Like that. And then we play an open, an open B, and then an A triple stop. So barring the second fret on those same three strings. And we do that twice. And then we do this octave lick. It's a really, really cool lick. And so this, these are double stops technically, but they're octaves. So 
we're playing D, open D and third fret D, and then E, second and fifth fret on the uh, D and B strings. And then from there, we drop everything to the next set of strings, G and E strings, two and five. That's an A octave, and then we drop it down a half step to a G sharp octave. And then we play a different shape octave. So these are all basically the same shape. And then we play an F sharp octave, and on this F sharp octave, we're playing second fret high E, ring finger on uh, D string fourth fret, and that's an octave as well. And then after this F sharp, we play the E octave again, two and five, on D and B strings, and then drop down a half step to the D sharp octave, one and, one and four. So, and then it repeats. And then that whole section repeats. idea but with a few different chords so now so now we do the same rhythm except instead of playing a D triple stop we're playing a G triple stop five four and three on the same three strings D G and B and then an open B and then an F sharp minor triple stop so that's just like the D triple stop we did except without our middle finger instead we're barring the second fret so it's four two two And then, uh, like, I guess you would call it a quadruple stop, but at this point it's just a chord. So it's an E chord. Um, we're playing four E chords. That's two, one, open, open. Two starting on the D string, one on the G, and then open, open. Like that, so. And then that lick. double stop lick, same exact thing. So, so far the bridge is section right there that's basically uh, like a string you hear like on the record there's like a string like a violin playing and that's what's happening there what we're doing that um, we come straight out of that octave lick and go into this basically like G chord, but an interesting shape of one. We're playing um, G on the D string 5th fret, 7th fret, open, 7th fret. So 5, 7, open, 7. And then we slide our pinky up to 9, and then slide it way up to 14, and then play 14, 12 on the B. So that's... And then we do this huge double stop where we're basically on this, the low string and the high string. The low E on 14, the high E on 16. And then after that, we play 12th fret high E, 12th fret B. So that's... And that's the little violin lick. that. And then after
after that, we're basically just doing an E triple stop. So that same chord, that E chord that we just came from in the section, in the earlier part of the bridge, but without the high E string. So without that, it's just two, one, open, D, G, and B strings. So one and two and three and. And on that three and, we add our pinky, or ring finger, but I prefer pinky, to the uh, B string third fret. And then we take the top three strings, like that, and just play the top three, so uh, first, open, open, and then we play a whole measure of just E chords. One and two and three and four and. So that's... Like that. So... finish it that way. So that whole section, that string section, sounds like this. And then it repeats back to the chorus. So that's the whole thing. Um, that's literally every part of the song. And so what I want you to take away from all this is that you can see how you could craft such a ridiculously catchy melody with just two notes at a time instead of having to do chords and instead of having to play just a single note you can have all this melodic movement going around in double stops and it, it, it you know I mean if you've been paying attention which I hope you have been um, you notice the whole song is basically double stops or triple stops and in a couple sections there's like some four note chords um, but for the most part it's all basically double stops, and that's a huge tool to play with if you if you can kind of like absorb that. Um, and rather than just playing licks, moving around the neck in your pentatonic scale, try moving around major scales, minor scales, using double stops. And a really good tool for that, a, a good tool is to play scales on one or uh, on one set of two strings. So what do I mean by that? Well, example, if you take a C major scale and you play okay so and you play it all on one string c d e f g a b c like that and then you play the same scale but starting on the open e string e f g a b c d e right you have the same scale starting on two different notes on two different strings moving up the neck you could do those simultaneously A scale in double stops and you could do that with any scale and any string combination and learning how to do that and how to maneuver that around or that concept around is, is invaluable to your guitar playing um, I mean it will it will take you from being like a pentatonic melodic you know one note at a time type of player to this vastly improved player just by practicing double stops and moving them up and down scale positions um, so give that a shot and uh, see if you can't sort of absorb some of these concepts uh, from Raspberry Beret. I think you'll have a good time doing it.